Welcome to this beginner follow along stretching video featuring Lin Jie, a principal dancer from Shin Yun. In this video, you will learn how to improve your flexibility using the same stretching techniques as a professional dancer. Whether you are male or female, this stretching routine is suitable for all levels and can be done as a pre or post workout stretch, after work, or whenever you need to release tension in your muscles. The benefits of stretching are numerous, including improved flexibility, reduced risk of injury, and better overall health. So get ready to follow along and stretch your way to a healthier, more flexible body with Lin Jie from Shen Yun. If you gain any value from this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hi, I'm Lin Jie. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a really simple neck stretch to really loosen up the tension in the neck. First, we're gonna take it to the right and hold it for 10 seconds. Remember to take deep breaths and really let the oxygen go in. Okay, come back to center. Now we're gonna bring it to the opposite side and hold it for 10 seconds again. Come back to center. Now we're gonna go forward, drop the chin. 10 seconds. All right, great job, come up. And now we're gonna really look back, really relax the neck. Hold it for 10 seconds and come back to center. Okay, now we're gonna drop the chin and we're gonna draw a big circle with the top of our head, starting from the right, going to the back, bring it to the other side, back to front, all right, great job. Come up. Now we're gonna do the other side, so drop the neck. Bring it to the left. All the way back. To the right. And forward. Make sure when you do this exercise, you don't force your muscles, but rather relax. Let the oxygen go. The next exercise I have for you is something to really loosen up the tension in your shoulders and your upper back. It's really simple actually. It can be done with anything from a towel to a jacket. I like to hold maybe a string sometimes, anything stretchy. So you just start by standing and hold the towel same length as your shoulders. And just bring it back. Hold it for 10 seconds. Really open up your chest to the sky. Okay, come down. We'll bring it back again for a second time. Also 10 seconds. Make sure you really relax and don't clench your muscles. Remember, focus on lengthening your muscles. You can bring it gently to the side. Okay, now we're gonna do one last time. Last time we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. And I like to move a little bit to the left and right so you can get more depth with each arm. Really open up the shoulder blades. Remember to keep breathing. Listen to your body, let the oxygen flow within your muscles. Okay, now we're gonna bring it back to center. Great job, guys. This next exercise also targets the shoulders and upper back. It's super easy to do. All you need is a relatively flat surface. It can be a table or a chair. And what we're going to do is we're going to face it and just put our arms on the surface just like this. Okay, and then we're going to just take a deep breath, exhale, and drop our head towards the floor. We're going to hold this for about 10 seconds. And then we're going to come back up, take a breath, and drop it again for another 10 seconds. Now it's important when we do this exercise to make sure our heels are really driving into the floor and we lengthen the spine. So you don't wanna have a huge bump. You wanna to try to press yourself down into the floor. And make sure you breathe and exhale. All right, come back up. Good job, that's it. Our next exercise is also for the neck, upper back, and shoulders. It's super easy to do, and I like to do it to relieve tension after sitting too long, whether it be in the office or watching TV. 
all you really need is a chair. So we're gonna start by raising both our arms up to the sky. Take a deep breath and reach back. We're gonna hold it here for 20 seconds. The trick is to just get your back on the tip of the chair and bend over. It's not really about how far you can bend back. Mostly letting your muscles drop and really breathing in. Come back up, good job. Take a deep breath. We're gonna do it again. Now make sure you're really breathing and the oxygen is flowing through your body because we are going upside down. So holding your breath could cause dizziness or feeling nauseous. If you experience any signs of feeling faint or lightheaded, make sure you get up immediately and take several deep breaths before starting again. Three, two, one. Okay, great job. Come back up. Next exercise is going to be reducing tension in our arms and our neck. It's super easy too, can be done anywhere, standing or sitting. So all you need to do is take one arm, grab it and bring it across your chest. And we're going to hold this for about 10 seconds. And we're going to do it twice, once on each arm, switching after 10 seconds. So as you bring your arm across your body, make sure at the same time you turn your head in the opposite direction. So here we're starting with my left arm. I'm gonna be looking towards my left shoulder. All right, we're gonna do the other side now. For 10 seconds. Looking over your right shoulder. And remember to breathe. All right, back to center. And one more time. Make sure you just really listen to your body and do the max that you can. All right, back to center. That's it. So our next exercise is also to open up the shoulder blades and the chest. It's also super simple and you can do it anywhere you have a wall or a window, basically a vertical surface. The purpose of this exercise is not to crack your bones, but rather to really lengthen your muscles from the center of your body. Okay, so here I'm at a window and I'm just gonna hold on to this ledge. Take a deep breath and we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds and do this exercise twice. My arm is a bit high here, but when you do it, try to keep it 90 degrees. And like before, make sure you keep breathing. Okay, so we're just gonna hold it for 10 seconds and then we're gonna switch arms. Make sure you start off slowly as this stretch can be a bit challenging if you've never attempted it before. If it's your first time, I recommend maybe stepping a bit farther from the wall. And if you need more of a stretch, then slowly push your body towards it. All right, take a breath and one more time. Now the stretch should be mostly in your back and your shoulders. If you feel it in your elbows or wrists, that is not correct. You should not continue in that way. Okay, 10 seconds and you're done. Next, we have an exercise to really stretch out the side of the back. And like before, it's super easy. All you really need is a wall or a chair or a friend. So I'm gonna be standing here at the middle of a door frame. We're just gonna stretch over to one side gonna start by leaning to the right hold this for 10 seconds and come back up for a breath and we're just gonna repeat it one more time make sure we're really reaching forwards up and over with our left arm you really want to focus on the extension and the direction of your muscles rather than just crunching down or squishing on the opposite side once you've got that we're gonna take it to the other side up and over Hold it for 10 seconds, really breathe. All right, come back up and we're gonna do it one more time. If you feel like you need a deeper stretch, make sure you emphasize more of the direction that you're going up and over instead of trying to crunch down. All right, come back up and that's it. Next, we have an exercise that also targets the spine and it's great for really long bus rides or if we have airplane rides. Anytime you've been sitting for too long and your back is getting tense and you really wanna relax those muscles. So we're just gonna sit forward with our knees closed. 
So I'm going to start by turning to my right. I'm going to use my left arm here to gently press against my right knee to help get more depth in my stretch. I'm going to also look over my right shoulder. But here the focus is still on your spine as you really want to reduce all the tension there. Okay, we're going to hold that for 20 seconds and then we're going to do the opposite side. So that's my right arm pressing against my left knee. I'm going to look over my left shoulder and really focus on your back. Instead of using the muscles in your back, you want to try to relax those and then use the strength from your arms and really relieve all that excess stress and tension in the spine. Breathe and come back to center. So our next stretch targets tension in the hips and lower back and it's also super easy to do. I like to do it while watching TV or during commercial break when I just feel like I've been sitting for too long. So we're going to start by bringing our right leg up, put your ankle on your left knee and slowly bring your body forward, drop the head, really try to elongate the spine and relax all the way from your tailbone to your neck. We're going to hold that for 10 seconds, then come back up and do it one more time. Really breathe and make sure to let your knees drop to the floor. Relax your hips for 10 seconds and then we're going to come up. Now our last time, we're going to hold it for 20 seconds. But remember, you can go as slowly as you can. Feel free to alter this stretch according to your needs. Now it might look simple here, but I've actually been practicing this stretch for quite a while. And in the beginning, it may not be easy to get your knee flat across your body, but if you work at it every day, it should slowly go down. All right, after that, we're gonna switch. So we're gonna bring our left leg up and put our ankle on our right knee. And just like the other side, we're gonna bring it forwards for 10 seconds. If in the beginning you feel like you can't straighten your back, that's perfectly fine. Just go at a pace that feels comfortable for you. Remember, the focus is on the hips. You can use your hand to gently push your knee down if you feel like it's going up. If you feel like step one is too difficult, you don't have to bend forward first. You can first sit and just gently rest that leg on top of the other one for a few seconds. You can even give it a bounce up and down. Breathe. Okay, hold that for 20 seconds. All right, come back up. Great job, guys. That was a tough one. Next, we have more of a full body stretch that targets both the back and the legs. It's basically a stretch that you can do anywhere, at home, at work. You don't need any equipment. Okay, so we're just gonna start with our feet spread apart or closed up to you actually and holding on to your arms we're just gonna bring our head forwards and really go with your body see how low you can go we're gonna hold it here for 10 seconds you can feel free to bounce a bit and then we're gonna bend our knees and curl ourselves into a ball this should stretch your hamstrings and your lower calves if you can't balance feel free to hold on to the floor or lean against the wall after 10 seconds, we're going to straighten back up again to our first stretch and really breathe and try to lengthen the spine. Try to drop your head towards the floor, but focus more on your back. Okay, after 10 seconds, we're going to curl back into our ball. Now remember, during the transition, you can go as slowly as you feel or you can stay in either stretch, longer or shorter depending on your own needs. If you can't balance, you can lean against the wall like me here. And if you have any questions, comments, or even better suggestions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. Here we have an exercise that really stretches our hamstrings. It's super easy to do and all you really need is something that won't tip over. So it could be a desk, a chair, a tree, a friend, anything that you can hold onto to provide support. 
This is a really great stretch to do before and after running, jogging, or if you're hiking because it really warms up your hamstrings and then it prevents injury. We're going to start here by bringing our left leg back and we're going to lunge forward three times and on the third time we're going to hold it still. So here I'm starting with my right leg in front so my left leg is going to be lengthened out behind me. And then make sure both your heels are firmly planted on the floor. You should feel that stretch in the back of your leg, really getting that hamstring lengthened out, reducing all tension from maybe standing or sitting too long. Now we really want to breathe. And we're going to switch over to the other side. Make sure each time you lunge forward, it's to the maximum of your body. We don't want to push it until we feel pain. So for all our stretches, we want to make sure we really focus on listening to our body and taking it at our own pace. The focus is to do a little bit every day and create healthy habits rather than trying to force your body to achieve a standard or a goal in one day. You might feel a bit uncomfortable at first, but we're going to keep working at it until our hamstrings are lengthened. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked that video, let us know in the comments below and we'll make an advanced version. Like and subscribe and check out our other videos.